Darren Shannon Jr. may have hung up his Illini jersey, but he's still making headlines off the basketball court. The university has dropped its investigation into the guard. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Back in December, Shannon was charged with rape in Kansas. Following policy, the university suspended him from the team. He fought back, sued the U of I, and the court sided with him. Now there's a big update in this case. WCI3's Amanda Brennan is live in our newsroom. Amanda, you got your hands on court documents. Spell them out for us. Well, long story short, Shannon dropped his lawsuit after the university dismissed the investigation five days ago. That's less than a week after he wrapped up his season with the basketball team. The court documents also include a letter from the Office for Student Conflict Resolution. It explains there is not enough information to allow for a reasonable hearing panel. For example, investigators did not have access to complete files from the Lawrence, Kansas Police Department. It also says they didn't have access to the woman or her witnesses accused Using Shannon of rape. This is why there won't be disciplinary action from the school. It is important to know the investigation can be reopened if there is new evidence, but just a reminder, this is part of his civil case in Illinois. The criminal case in Kansas is separate. That's where he is due back in court in exactly one month from today. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Amanda, thank you. Now let's walk through the last few months of this case. Police say in September, Terrence Shannon Jr. was in Lawrence for the Illinois football game against Kansas. Details started coming to light December 28th. That's when Shannon was originally charged with rape and suspended from the team. Court documents later laid out the events that police say happened that weekend in Kansas. He sued the U of I to end his suspension at the beginning of January. A federal judge later sided with Shannon, allowing him back on the team. And just two days ago, in an exclusive interview with WCIA 3 Sports, the athletic director wouldn't comment on if the school is reviewing its policy that originally suspended Shannon.